back to my channel. I just showered, which is one of the big days. So before going on with our morning routine, I do want to say this video is sponsored by Secret with Essential Oils Deodorant, which I will get into later on in the video. Also, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell right next to it. That way you can notify every time that we upload a new video. So I decided to do the intro today, a day before, so tomorrow we can just wake up and go straight into our morning routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is 7 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. He's been up since 5.30. I got up at 5.30 with him. Change his diaper. Look at, look at, uh, <laughs> changed his diaper at 5.30 and now Alex is up, so Alex is going to take over while I go back to sleep for a little bit because it's way too early baby, you woke up early today, and he's cranky, he's already tired, he's sleepy, but I try racking him to sleep, you know, get it, so Alex will just push him in the stroll. <laughs> <laughs> You're so tired. Why have you been up since 5 in the morning, little boy? Uh, huh? Uh, 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 Say, Daddy, hurry up because my mommy's going back to sleep for a little bit. Ow, you pulled my hair, Baba. Uh, so, yeah, Alex is going to um, push him for a little bit in the stroller. Then uh, that'll kind of rock him back to sleep. Uh, uh, that's how I know he's sleepy, because he's all laughing. And then I'll probably be up at around 10, but gonna catch a little bit of my sleep while your daddy takes over. Okay guys, so like Leslie told you guys, today we're supposed to be recording our morning routine that we usually have. Today happened to be something completely different from what usually happens, but it's not something that never happens. So baby G here likes to wake up sometimes at like 5 a.m. And he will not go back to sleep. Like he literally just stays awake in his crib. And he won't really cry around that time. Like he'll just literally stay up chilling. We'll change his diaper. Which is usually Leslie who wakes up with him. So she'll change his diaper and leave him there laying down. And he'll literally just chill there till like around 7. And around 7 is when he kind of starts getting a little fussy or whatever. And that's when I wake up and I take over. Alright guys, so option number one clearly didn't work. Baby G did not fall asleep. And like I told you guys, this happens every once in a while so it's not something that doesn't usually happen but today's one of those days and it's funny because we we're supposed to record our family routine that we usually do every single day and baby g it's like it's like he knew we were gonna do this so usually guys if nothing else works like the stroller pushing or he's just not going to sleep i literally just put him right here in his bouncer like i showed you guys look at my hair bro that's why i'm wearing a hat guys because if i take it off look at my hair <laughs> My hair is all fucked up. I have pillow hair. If all that doesn't work, I literally just come into the kitchen, to the living room. I sit him in his little bouncer. I give him his, his little toy. And I just let him vibe out, honestly. What ends up happening is that he ends up falling asleep in this chair, which happens a lot, a lot of the times. This is the only time in the morning is kind of when we let him watch TV. And it's no more than like 30, 45 minutes. It just calms him down and makes him happy. So we let him do that. And then I get to do stuff around the house till Leslie wakes up. All right, guys. So baby G finally fell asleep. He started getting super cranky again in the middle of the movie that he was watching. I fed him and he literally KO'd. Alright guys, now baby Jesus sleep. Gonna drink the little cafecito right now when I told you guys I was gonna wash dishes and shit. I actually did nothing. I literally laid on the carpet next to him. So this is what I drink guys mostly. The Nescafe, Clasico, on some real Mexican shit. Um, I don't know, it's just the best flavor to me, honestly. I use the Keurig in the back over here. Literally just for hot water. I don't even use like the pods or anything. Just straight use it for hot water because I don't really like all that other flavored coffee type of stuff. I don't know if you guys saw, but I put one, like, one good teaspoon of, of straight coffee. And I usually put two teaspoons of sugar and just some half and half, nothing crazy. I like it a little dark, but not too dark. Um, I also don't like it too creamy, too light. I think it's a good color right here. There we go. Oh yeah, that shit is beautiful. Just gotta mix that shit. I'm super excited to get that first sip of coffee. Ah, beautiful. Ah, chef kiss. All right, I'm done doing all the boring shit that I have to do, guys. Let's go check 
on the family. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning, Java. Good morning, Java. Good morning, Java. All right, guys. So one of the family members is up. A few moments later. <laughs> Let's go see if mommy's awake. Booyah! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It is 3 p.m. Why and is he not wearing clothes? Leslie just woke up. No, it's not 3 p.m. It's actually 10 30. This little boy has Where's been wanting to see you. Oh my goodness, my son is here. Uh, he's naked. Delivery, I got a baby. Bro, he Wait. just pooped himself. And I was cleaning him, but he pooped like a ball, like that. Uh -huh. And I was throwing away his diaper, and I don't know what I did, but I flicked the diaper, and the the ball of poop landed on top of my hand like that, like just like a piece of play-doh. And I was, did you hear me scream? I was like, ah! And as soon as I, I mean, as soon as I open my eyes, I get a delivery from this little chunky boy. Uh -oh. What time is it? And then I ask Alex what time is it. And this is how I start my day with my little chunky bebecito. Today, did you tell him that he has a, his appointment today? I didn't actually say So that. today he actually has his six month checkup. I mean, he's about to be almost seven months, but that's when he when they scheduled it. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's his six month checkup. We we're going to the doctor today, sir. Yes. And I'm going to tell him you'll be crying in the morning. Uh -oh. I'm going to tell him on you. Uh -oh. I'm going to tell on you. So before going on with my day, I do like to apply myself some deodorant. And this is currently my favorite one that I have been using. So it is by Secret and it is their essential oils deodorant. So this is my favorite scent, which is the coconut and mandarin. And this is the one that I've been using and obsessing over. But they also have other scents like these other three over here. So I've actually shared with you guys that I do tend to be a pretty sweaty person. So I am kind of picky with my deodorants that they don't make me sweat throughout the day. And this one doesn't make me sweat. So I'll apply it in the morning and then I am good for the rest of the day. It also doesn't give me any order and I love the packaging so it reduces your sweating doesn't give me any odor and i wish you guys could smell it like it just smells so like <sighs> clean almost seductive i apply it in the morning or after i shower and it just makes me feel super clean i wish you guys could smell it through the camera so it does come in different scents and this is the packaging that it comes in in case you guys are in the lookout for it and it is available at your local retailer nationwide and once you guys try it you guys are going to love it i know when i posted it on my instagram i had a couple of you guys comment and tell me that it is also currently your favorite deodorant as well so if we are deodorant besties comment down below let me know and thank you so much secret for sponsoring this video key point to starting your day is uh, brushing your teeth. Yes. Putting on deodorant. Washing your face. Washing your face. Uh, and doing your bed. I'm gonna be oh. real AF, yeah, babe. Let's be honest. <laughs> we honest. never do the bed. No, not never. Every other day. We don't do our bed every single day, which I know I'm not the only one out there, but it is something that me and Alex agree that we want to do every single day. I just feel like, I mean, just because especially right now we're literally home all single day and we're going to go like throughout the day, which is like, I guess the main reason why we don't like actually do it. Now I feel like, especially like I'm telling you guys right now, I feel like we're all kind of like losing track of our world or of our lives kind of thing. Um, yeah, we're, we're back into the habit of just doing our bed every single day. So Starting today, guys, we're on meal preps. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's true too. We get them today. I'll explain to you guys um, about that in a little bit. But yeah, to do the bed, obviously I have to move this little human out of here, put him in his crib, and put on the sound. Please enjoy. Please enjoy the circus, okay baby? Just while I do the bed. Bed is done, now time to put on the faja. Um, so I am back to Pajandome. My fajas got here about two days ago. And yesterday on my Snapchat, I <laughs> showed you guys the fajas, where I get them and all that. And they are completely sold out. So I'm not going to go too in-depth in this video since they are sold out. But once they're in stock, I will let you guys know and show you guys. Okay, literally a must every single morning. Guess, babe. Ah, coffee. Yes. I will drink a coffee. I have been drinking Yasmin's Beauty Birds coffee for a while. But we don't have milk, so I'm going to do this one right here. I love hers with milk, which you have to go buy some, babe. But yeah, when I can make one of those, I will drink my Starbucks. This one is a mocha one. Get myself a little straw. Look how cute this one is. I think I ordered this one off Amazon. Not sure, but get the day going. When did this house become a daycare? What did you just say? When did this house become a daycare? How is this a daycare? <laughs> Show them all the stuff that we have. Babe, because we have a son. We have a baby. Um, this stroller actually doesn't come with a cup holder, guys. So I got this off Amazon. I'm actually going to record a baby most have video it will probably go up before this video i'm not too sure but um that video is coming baby most halves 
and this cup holder is universal goes with anything and any stroller so throw in my coffee and then we just pick up around the house baby g loves to do this because i get to push him around the house and i get to get my chores done so yeah, works I, I left you surprise over here what surprise it's your dishes it's from it's your sick. breakfast because guys are pretty um and yeah we're gonna just pick up around the house wash some dishes and then normally by the time i finish doing that le da sueño and it's his nap time but we will see me cansé de rogarle uh oh uh oh i can't stop rogando my bad <laughs> i just saw so. and this ladies and gentlemen is how you get your chores done And he's out for a nap. Uh oh. You're still not ready. I'm not ready. You've been getting ready for like an hour now. Not true. I was putting away my clothes. Guess <laughs> good. Not true. So, baby, just went to sleep. I am about to get ready. That pretty much concludes our morning routine, like as far as our morning routine. But we're still gonna vlog with you guys for the rest of the day. We have, like I told you guys, uh, his six month appointment. So I'm gonna get ready for that. I feel like getting ready, doing my hair, putting an outfit, and you're gonna take a picture of me. Ooh, I'm so excited. Is it the best part of your day, taking a picture it. of me? I love it, I absolutely love it. It's the best thing to ever happen. <laughs> He's being fake. But yeah, you guys are gonna come with us. Um, to the baby appointment and then we'll talk to you guys in the car for a little bit about our whole meal prep situation See you guys once we are ready Oh, and we are ready guys this camera we can no longer zoom in or zoom out So we're like stuck in the zooming our Thursday we get our uh, We get the new camera. So yeah for now. Um, I'm not sure if we're a little too zoomed in or a little too zoomed out But that is it. Uh, I'm wearing these glasses, babe. How do you feel about these glasses? Fresh. Some 90s vibes right there. That's what it gives me, like some 90s vibes. Um, these are from Shein. I actually did a, a little unboxing on my Instagram live last week. So if you guys were there, you guys um, saw these. But yeah, I ordered like a good eight pairs from there. Guys, they're only $5 or glasses. Well, $4, $5 to $6. Um, and they're all like like these. And I like, oh, you're not wearing mine. No, nah, I was wearing them, but I took them off. Yeah, some other, some other ones that if you guys saw my live, um, so como negros así largos like really dark those are really nice too but today i was feeling this vibe <laughs> they're not sunglasses because i can obviously see through it but i don't know i thought it went with the little colita i have to wash my hair big time normally when i'm like on a really dirty hair day <laughs> i will do like a slick ponytail so you can't really tell what is going on but we are already on our way to his appointment i'm so excited for his appointments i love his appointments like just his regular checkups because you know i just like getting that confirmation from a uh, pediatrician professional that yeah. he is growing fine yeah, healthy is good. as can be yeah uh, last time we took him was for his three months so it's been a little bit over three months that he um, obviously had his checkup this is his six months checkup so hopefully everything is um fine there's i mean obviously nothing wrong with him but as a first time mom especially i feel like you just want to you know be here and like everything's fine he's growing just as he should be um what else oh yeah the prep meals so guys i gained six pounds are you surprised no mom i mean <laughs> no i know guys these past two weeks it's because honestly quarantine okay there's no excuse but i blame quarantine because there's like nothing funner to do and like that's literally 
like it's just like we're just thinking of the next meal all the time yeah like, like we're just thinking of like what to eat and then we're bored and like oh well, let's go get ice cream or oh let's order this or let's uber eats that let's go for the elote uber eats really. yeah uber eats and going to like the elotes and the churros yeah. mm. and that's just what it, that's just what it's become and i'm simply going because i'm just tired of eating like shit you know yeah like i'm you know like it's like nine at night or eight at night and like i'm thinking like oh some some McDonald's or a hot dog. And we from, go and order McDonald's yeah, and, and order some like, big ass hot dogs. They're bomb, but Yeah, they're super um, bomb. And then mm -hmm. eating when I when I go on a binge of eating really really bad, I see it immediately in my skin. Like my skin you breaks out. Breaking, as, yeah, uh -huh. as you guys can see right here. And then yeah. I go through good phases where I'm like, alright, you know what? Like I'm not eating so much uh, junk food and I'm drinking a lot of water. Water I do drink on the daily. I drink a good amount, like a gallon of water. But I feel like your face cleared up. because My was, face cleared up I'm sure really good. Eat, so. And then now I broke up. I mean, I broke out again, kind of like down here. And I already know why, because literally like, I can feel it. Like I know when I'm eating really yeah. bad and I'm like, oh, like I shouldn't be eating this late and then this greasy. Yeah, but he doesn't feel it like, oh, cause he's gaining weight just yeah. like how he said his face. But me on the other hand, uh, I mean, I'm not completely unhappy with my weight. Um, I did get six pounds though. So I'm like, whoa, let's <laughs> calm down. You guys know that I like to maintain myself. So just for this week, only this week, um, I am going to just eat only prep meals. Soda, you guys know that I already don't drink soda. I've been going years, honestly, I'm not drinking soda. Like it's rare for me to sip on Alex's, but um, you, I eat and drink with I water. Drink I live of water his parents are always like it's so weird go pues comer con agua but i'm just so used to it um so yeah i'm doing it just to like kind of go back on my on my six pounds i notice it right away like on my stomach on my face on my arms i'm like eh, leslie cut down the noodles and the hot dogs and the tacos and everything so yeah for this week i am prep mealing and then uh, the next week after i'm not gonna go back to eating crazy but you know just um back to eating regular meals but you know watch myself a little bit so yeah i bounced up six pounds so prep mealing this week and I mean, at the end of the day, it's obviously, you know, just to try and be healthy. So it's going to be a boring week just because <laughs> I can look forward to I actually to, like, like the prep meals. It's just like... They're good, yeah. They lack flavor, obviously. It's not bad food. I just think yeah. it obviously doesn't compare to like a big juicy burger, you yeah, know, but... You Anyways, guys, this is my second time coming to a baby's appointment in the last two months. And... The last three months, actually. Yeah, and this is the second time that I'm not gonna be able to go in, which sucks. I mean, Leslie goes in, obviously Leslie, as long as Leslie knows what's going on, like I really don't mind it, but it sucks because I like to be in there. And like, I just like to be there with my son and well with Leslie, obviously. So it kind of sucks that I have to wait outside. But I mean, it's all the precautions that we have to take going with everything going on. The other time I didn't FaceTime him, I don't know, I kind of just, it was the first time ever, literally that he doesn't go to an appointment with me. Since I was pregnant, he's been on my, literally with me in every single appointment, every single everything. Um, so this past time, I don't know why, we didn't even think about the FaceTime, huh? Like we just, I don't know why we didn't FaceTime. But this time I'm like, you know, now that we're kind of adjusting a little more to everything that's going on, I'm like, oh, duh, there's FaceTime, babe. I'll just FaceTime you when, when I'm in there that way. Um, Cause last time when I came on, he's like, so what did the doctor say? And I was like, trying to remember, uh, you know, kind of like a summary of what the doctor yeah, told Leslie's me. Yeah, not good at that. <laughs> I'm not good at that at all. So this way through FaceTime, even though he's not physically there, it's gonna be kind of like if he. I mean, as long as I hear. And I beat my whole face. I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget, but I just didn't click to me that I have to wear a mask. So all of this is about to get ruined. Am I? I know I'm not the only one that kind of put that. Last time I put on lip gloss too. And then I was like, oh my god, right now it's not a good time at all to wear lip gloss ever unless you're gonna like just be at the house. But yeah, I have to wear obviously my mask. How do I look? I'm gonna be wearing that and then I'll try and vlog a little bit once I FaceTime Alex and we get to his appointment. Yeah, put this on over him. Um, this one we only bought it because of the winter. He was a winter baby, but right now it's actually perfect. So, you know, we get to cover him. Oh, he looks so blonde, babe, under the sun. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Ugh, we're just waiting on the doctor now. Okay. Guys, we did a quick, well, I did a quick outfit change and I went to go fix up my lipstick because it was super smeared after the mask because um, I wanted to take a picture and we came to Home, Home Goods, Goods and TJ Maxx. Does TJ Maxx have um, mirrors? I'm not too sure, but I'm on the lookout. I'm on the hunt for a mirror. I want a big one. The only one that we have right now is the one that's in my makeup room and it's kind of a hassle moving it from my makeup room to the hallway to the makeup room to the hallway so besides that the one from my makeup room you guys have probably seen it already it's like you know it has like a whole bunch of light bulbs yeah we obviously don't want to have that one in the pasillo and stuff so we are here at home goods yay um i was looking on amazon last night to see if i saw one but i don't know i feel like this is one thing that i actually don't want to order on amazon unless i have no other choice then i'll probably like ask you guys like do you guys know of a good one link me but yeah we came to home goods hopefully we find one um i don't want like the really really skinny ones like you know what i mean like i want like a really nice home decor mirror do you feel my wife yes yes 
you feel oh, I want to take pictures in too. I feel like those are like a must have in the house porque para que te puedas ver um, your outfit, you know, like right. antes de antes de salir a la pachanga. Just saying, but before you like go out. Too bad there's no and, pachangas right now. Yeah, by pachanga I mean to your backyard. <laughs> well, at least for us. So, oh my god, it looks like I'm about to do a beer run. Here we go. See you guys at home, guys. I love it. Yo, this is Good I love this. Yeah, it looks super cozy. Yeah. But we don't have no more space, babe. Yo, I this. They don't have any that we love. Well, they have this one, but this is way too much. We want something more. Like, I don't want something with this much frame. They have too much frame, little glass. Yeah, we want more glass, no frame. Do you know which one I'm going for? Like, it has like a super thin frame or actually no frame at all. What about the one behind you? But yeah, this one's super cute. Just not, it's not, it's not for a house, but it's still cute. What about this one? Look. Some brujería shit right here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where should, should we go somewhere else? I'm telling Alex, uh, okay, we're gonna try Elm, and then that's our last option. If not, you guys have to come through. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's a dog stroller. No, it's for a baby. No, it's a dog stroller. <laughs> Look at that. The baby. I don't know if I'm just behind, but I have never seen. Have you seen yeah, a dog come on. Yeah? I swear in my life I had never. People walk their dogs in these things. That's so cute. Now Look, like even these. I mean, I've obviously seen that, but like a legit dog stroller. This is so funny. Super cute. Now I want a dog. Just kidding. Just because I know you can't reach. <laughs> so we came in Alex's truck in case we do find a mirror, which I feel like we're not. But like I told you guys, um, I wanted to give it a try in person first before ordering online. Oh my goodness. <gasps> You're getting so good, baby. He did get his shots today, so that's why he has little band-aids on his feet. But he is doing great, guys. He's really good with shots. Um, he normally just cries like obviously when he gets them and then for like five minutes as we're like walking out of the clinic and then after that he's fine huh like no se pone necio or nothing for the rest of the day he's pretty good when it comes to um shots and stuff and as you guys saw we cannot find the mirror that i was looking for i feel like you guys know what kind of mirror i'm looking for so if you guys have one yourself please let me know um tweet me or tweet alex let us know uh post a picture but i do want to buy one that is recommended by you guys or one that you guys have and i can like see it in your guys' house and stuff so if you guys don't mind please help us out <laughs> hello babe yeah, we need that mirror badly. We need um, yeah, I mean, we're carrying that big ass vanity mirror all over the house. The very first days that we put him here, he was completely lost. Me and Alex were like, maybe he doesn't know how to use it, but we've seen a huge improvement in the past week. He's been using it for what, babe? Like a week now? Yeah, we put him like once a day, like 15 minutes. Yeah, it says to only do 15 minute sessions, so he'll be on here once a day for 15 minutes. Come on, you did so good. Oh my goodness. A doctor said that he is growing super fast and healthy. He's in the 88%, meaning that he's taller than taller than 88% babies his age. And both nurses that went in there were like, oh my god, he's a pretty big six month old. So yeah, he is growing a big and strong. His next appointment is until when he's nine months. So another three months. Where did six months go? For real, half a year already. When you say half a year, it feels like even longer. Know. Even the doctor was like, six months flew by, huh? And I'm like, yes, oh my God. So we're gonna close out the video right here. I hope you guys enjoy watching our daily morning routine and spending the day with us. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. bye. Say bye. I love it. Bye. I love it. <laughs>